there, which is why sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant to talk about it or complain about it because other people deal with way worse. Alright ladies, I'm back with another video today. I'm uploading kind of late because I just woke up from my nap. Uh, I slept for like four hours, so kind of tired, but anyway, this video is about Mr. Beast again because, like I said, you know, he lives where I live and it's pretty cool. I really like his videos, so I, I watch his videos all the time, so I'm going to tell you all about him because I really like him. This video is going to be about, um, you know, before they were famous, Mr. Beast kind of, because like before they were famous hasn't done a video on Mr. Beast like this. So I've watched like all of Mr. Beast's like old, old videos where he talks about his Crohn's disease, he talks about his high school, he talks about all this stuff like before he was famous obviously. But So I'm going to go through and watch a couple videos. There are worse things than Crohn's out there, which is why sometimes I'm a little bit hesitant to talk about it or complain about it because other people deal with way worse. If you don't know what Crohn's is, it's pretty much my smaller large intestines. One of them has something wrong with them and they the bacteria is messed up and it just there there's sores on it. Something something's wrong with my smaller large intestine and whenever I eat certain foods it agitates it and if it gets agitated then I have like enormous stomach pain that's really unbearable. And then I go to the bathroom a lot. Now there are a lot of little problems Crohn's causes you like fatigue and you're just like really low on energy a lot of times but the biggest thing obviously is the diet you have to eat certain foods every single week of every single year it gets really repetitive but you have to eat those certain foods so your stomach doesn't get all messed up and you're not in constant pain 24 7 and it's a really small strict diet or at least mine is it's different for everyone and that makes it a little bit difficult to socialize and stuff like that or not really difficult to socialize just you know a lot of the things you do with your friends and whenever you hang out it's you know usually revolves around food which is where it's hard for me because sometimes I end up bringing my own PB&J when we're eating at fast food or things like that just because I don't want to be in stomach pain or I've what really impressed me about this video was the fact that like me personally like I said I watched all his videos and just saw how determined he was and I mean I shared it with y'all in my last video but there's a lot more videos about how determined he was so my thing is is he had this disease and he was still so determined like I was laying in bed, you know, taking my nap, and then I was just like, ah, I need to make a video, like, I really, I kind of, like, I wanted to, but then I was, like, in laying in bed and tired, I was just like, no, I'm not going to worry about it, and then I thought about how Mr. Beast is just, like, unbelievably determined, like, he has, like, this disease, which, I mean, like he said in the video, it's not, like, the worst thing you can have, but it's still, like, a setback, so it just really impressed me that he was so determined on YouTube, posting 250 videos before he even had, like, like 30,000 subscribers. I mean, it's unbelievable. Already ate something kind of, you know, that I shouldn't have eaten. I can't afford to eat anything else. And so, I, it, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much it just sucks all the fun out of food. I mean, eating food is a huge part of your life. You spend so much time doing it. You're always trying new foods. It tastes good. But with Crohn's, you know, you don't really like the food you eat all the time. And it's just like, you, you can't always try new stuff. You like pretty much eat the same thing. It gets kind of repetitive. And you really have to like sit down and mentally process how's this gonna affect me? Do I want to feel bad tomorrow? Can I afford to eat this? Can it just takes all the fun out of food, which really sucks because you know eating food and just having fun with food is like a huge part of your life, and that just gets sucked away when you get Crohn's. Like for real, if I didn't have Crohn's, I'd go to Food Line, I'd buy 12 boxes of cereal, and I'd eat a different box of cereal every morning. I, like there's so many types of cereal out there, and like I can't eat cereal anymore, and I've watched so many people eat it all the time. And I just like there's so much cereal out there. I would just eat a different type of cereal every morning. That'd be so awesome instead of freaking eating chicken and rice or chicken and sweet potato. So that's pretty much the diet in a nutshell. Another thing that comes with Crohn's is the medicine you have to take. I'm on Remicade if you have any idea what that is. I highly doubt you do. And pretty much every five weeks I go to the hospital, they jab me with a needle and I sit there for four. That's pretty tough. Every five weeks you gotta have to get a shot. That's pretty tough. I mean, for I don't even know how long, let's see, for hours, that's, that's, that's kind of rough, I mean, that's, I mean, I, like you, like you said, it's not the worst, but that's pretty rough to be this determined to make videos, and, I mean, do, I mean, he played sports and all that, it's just really impressive to me. 
four hours and it pumps medicine into my bloodstream. And no, that's not a steroid. Everyone's always like, oh, so you're on steroids. No, it's not a steroid. I swear. That's like, I don't understand why everyone always thinks that. And without going into too much details and, you know, making this video super long for no reason, that's Crohn's in a nutshell. A super strict diet along with medicine. And the way the medicine works, like the week after I get it, I feel pretty good. Like I feel like a normal person, but as time goes on, it slowly wears off and I start to feel worse and worse. And like the last week of the medicine is when, you know, I don't really feel that good. And I have to be really strict on my diet because anything pretty much will agitate me and, you know, cause me pain and stuff like that. So it kind of sucks only feeling good a couple weeks out of every month, but... You know, you gotta live with it. There's nothing I can do about it. And I guess I should also mention this. I'm not gonna die early because of it. I'll live just as long as I would if I didn't have it. Thought I might as well throw that in there, but that's pretty much Crohn's in a nutshell, in case any of you were wondering. If not, I'm not quite sure why you'd watch so, it. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, obviously, the disease isn't cool, but it's, it's just cool how he deals with it and how he keeps motivation going to do all these videos, no matter, like, you know, he's gotta go to the hospital for a couple hours for this. You gotta play basketball, you gotta do what this, that, and the other. But I thought I just thought it was a really cool video. Um, and he's got more videos about it. He's, he doesn't mention it very often. Actually, he told um, Keemstar on uh, whatever show that is, uh, Drama Alert, um, that he doesn't like talking about it. And it's pretty cool because, like, he doesn't want, I mean, it, there's, there's a couple reasons he might not want to say anything, but. He's made a couple videos on it, and I thought it was really cool just how he has these setbacks and he doesn't let it overcome what he wants, you know, his goals in life. And it's, it's really, I mean, I really think it's something to think about. That's the reason I'm making this video is just because of how determined Mr. Beast was. He's really giving me some motivation. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like. And my next video, I'm thinking I'm just going to, like, instead of watching one of his videos, I'm going to go through and, like, watch a whole lot just to, like, just give y'all a little rundown of how Mr. Beast was when he wasn't famous yet. So if you want to see that, you know, subscribe and look out for the next video. And that's been it. Kids gonna feel lovely. Sip rum and write songs till we feel funny. Outside till sunrise, we ain't finished. All coming home to ya.